lot of times as a business analyst, you need to document the process flow. In this video, we'll review e-commerce shopping process flow, which was already documented, and we will create back office process flow of what happens with the order after it was received. I'll build back office diagram from scratch as a complement to the e-commerce shopping process flow diagram to show you how they all connect and interrelate together. We will be using Microsoft Visio as we go through this process. And I will show you also a couple cool features like adding additional connection points on the shapes and how to increase size of the text for the decision-making box. So stay here with this video. When customers shop, first step they do is navigate to the start page of the shopping site. So let's look at this on the example of the Amazon. You come to Amazon.com and this is what you see on the screen. And you have multiple choices here. You can either search for new products or you can use based on the categories and you can explore the page in details, a lot of different options. I try to generalize and categorize them uh, as, uh, as different categories here in the diagram. Uh, for example, you can search for items. You can review recommended items. You can review specials, but you can obviously arrange them differently based on the specific site you're trying to design. Next thing you do is you identify items for purchase. You go to specific category, for example, you find the items you're looking for and you add them to cart. Now let's look at how it's reflected in the process diagram. You have identify items for purchase and you can do it, as I mentioned, through multiple different steps. And then you add these items into the shopping cart. Next step, you go into the cart itself and you see this item and you're ready to do a checkout process. Let's look how it's reflected here. You go to the shopping cart, you can apply promotion or discount, or you can go and get more items. By returning back to shopping, going through the process again, you can use any one of this uh, listed categories on how you do shopping. And then you repeat the process until you're ready. When you're ready, you go through checkout process, order entry is created. You have a review order confirmation on the screen page via email, uh, potentially on the cell phone as a text message, and then it ends your experience until you get the order itself shipped. Now let's supplement this diagram with what's happening in the back office. To do that, let's add additional swim lane and to, do, to document all this information, we'll be using BPMN, Business Process Management Notation Shapes, Basic Shapes. I have them here on the left. And first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add another swim lane. We'll drag it from the box where all the shapes are represented into a separate swim lane. And because it's an independent process, we're not gonna connect those swim lanes because uh, there is no sequence in placing somebody placing the order and somebody fulfilling the order. And this is really what it's called, order fulfillment. This is how back office operations are categorized. But we'll call them for simplicity, back office. In parentheses, as I'll mention, order fulfillment. So that's the first step. We've added swim lane. Next step, let's add a starting point for this order. And this is the start event, so we'll drag the start shape uh, onto the picture. And next step is we will add a task. To add a task, I need to click on the start uh, shape, and then it offers me a lot of different choices. I'll choose a task, and here in the task, we'll say review order, right? Because that's the first step that's happening. Somebody who received the order uh, on the back office and trying to fulfill the order, they need to understand what's happening. Let's add this uh, start text here into the start shape. Uh, I selected it again, and I just started typing, and it's added the text start. That's a starting point, and that's the part of the notation. Next step, we need to check if order is valid. To do that, let's select this task. So after review, we have a decision. We need to check, is order valid? So let's add this question into the decision box. And I'll put question mark. And the answer here would be yes or no. And based on these answers, there would be different path. So for example, if answer is yes, we'll add another task and we'll call it accept order, right? And here we will say that this is yes. But if path is no, we probably make sense to put it uh, at the bottom of the decision shape. So I'm gonna extend our swim lane a little bit. And you see the way I do it is I just hover over the borderline of the swim lane and I drag it uh, to the bottom. So now let's extend this. Uh, and I will have a task 
for no if order is not valid and the question here it's actually not a task so i made a mistake here in order for me to fix this mistake i can just do undo that's one way to do it or i can simply hit delete button to delete this shape and the connector so this would be another decision point for me and the decision is uh, another question where i will be asking can order issues be resolved and looks like I made a typo here so I'm going to use the spell checker to fix the question and because it's a decision the path might be yes or no for this can order be resolved question so let's first do the path no and path no would be easy we'll have another task we'll say we will reject the order and we will have an end point so that pretty much ends our process we can start here if order is not valid we have issues we can't resolve them we reject the order and here we'll have to say yes and here we'll have to say no and looks like i made a mistake here because the question here can order issues be resolved if answer is yes we should continue to accepting the order this path is really no so if order issues cannot be resolved then we're rejecting the order so you got to be careful i caught my mistake myself but that's where the review process with your colleagues or customers whoever would be on the receiving end of this diagram is is very important to help you catch uh, all those types of issues now let's add another connector here uh, and to do that i clicked on the connector button on the ribbon in visio and i drag the connector and this would be a yes path uh, so if order issues can be resolved by back office maybe by contacting the customer or maybe by uh, typical order issue might be item is not available so it was available on the side but never was removed but in reality in the warehouse it's not available so maybe it can be resolved by bringing the items into the uh, warehouse so where it can be fulfilled so if it can be resolved yes we're accepting the order and we're moving on our next step after order is accepted is that we need to package the order to do that let's add another task and we'll call it package the order after order is packaged next step is we need to ship it so we'll add a task ship the order and after shipping we need to generate shipment confirmation so let's add this task here and we have shipment confirmation typically it's a label on your uh, shipment package and then the last step would be notify the customer this could be done via email phone uh, a lot of different ways to do it we can also add um, a line here back to the customer i'm not going to do it just so i'm not complicating this diagram uh, but you can do it just send maybe the message or there are multiple different ways how you can show it in fact there is a message shape here uh, in the bpmn diagram types instead i'm just going to end this process and i'm do all this these two tasks that i promised you i will do so this is the end shape i'm going to type end and then we will uh, complete i'll show you the reason why we need additional connection point and how we can play with the funds so those are two tips and tricks i promised you in the beginning so if we look at this shape order entry system you see that order entry system only supports lines connecting from the sides what i'd like to do i'd like to add a connection point so my line from checkout process into the order entry process will go from the bottom of the checkout process into the top of the order entry system so let me make it a little bit bigger you can do it by clicking specific percentage or you can just zoom into that selected area and Visio will automatically try to understand which objects you're trying to get closer to so I'm gonna make even closer first step I'd like to do is make this shape aligned with the top shape and also i'd like it to be a line you see on the, here on this bar there there are some lines that connect as, as i move it it moves with me so i want it to be on the edges of this line and i'll explain you why in a second but you want to position your shape so it is in between those lines and it's connected exactly to the lines on the, on this measuring tape that runs here on the visio screen in fact i switched into the view and it's called ruler so which makes total sense so on the ruler i'll use the right terminology on the ruler you would have to make sure and i'm showing demonstrating this again that it's your shape is aligned to the edges and i'll explain you why in a second next step we'll go back to the home tab we'll add a connector 
and here let's get even closer because this would be very helpful you see as I move uh, I need to have this order entry shape selected and I have a connector shape selected as well now I need to hold the control button and as soon as I hold the control button you see what happens with the cursor this is I push control button and then I release control button control button actually adds additional shape connector for me and the reason I wanted to have a ruler and you see as soon as I hit control button on the ruler the cursor shows up so now I know that 11 is in the middle of my shape and now I just want to find the right place on my shape borderline so I can add this connection point when I'm ready I am clicking at the left mouse uh, button on my mouse and see it added this red connection point now I should be able to switch back to pointer tool get my line and connect my line to this new connection point before I wasn't able to do that so now it's I know it's in the middle of the shape because I aligned my shape so this is an exact center and uh, I zoomed in so I can see exactly where I'm adding it and if I zoom out you see it looks much more professional let me show you another problem that we will try to fix here so we will go back to the order fulfillment diagram and here in order fulfillment this text is fine it doesn't exceed the sizes of the shape uh, but let me just temporarily so I can show you the point uh, make it exceed uh, the size of this particular shape so let me clarify the question and say can order issues be resolved internally and see what happens and you see Visio was smart enough it readjusted the size of the shape but now it doesn't look exactly as this shape what if I make it this size again you see it kind of exceeds the size of the shape but there's a tool here on the toolbar called uh, text block which allows you to play with the size of the shape so let me zoom in a little bit closer to this shape so we will see exactly what's happening and I will click on this tool text block and what you can do here now you can change how text is located and aligned and you can align it much better and it's especially helpful for this box because it's such an odd shape for me the fix would be remove the word internal and go back to the original size and that's exactly what I'm going to do but my point is that if you ever have a need of adjust the text inside the shape box just remember that there is a box here called text block you can trigger it by clicking here in the tools group on the ribbon or there's a shortcut shift control 4 that you can use if you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.